interesting race tactically coming. Lights on. 1,000 the journey. Stalls go back racing. Tango War are the first to get going from Saturia. They're going to settle in front of the filly How to Fly and also the rank outsider Hail Caesar. Bon Voyage had got back and likewise as per the new instructions on Cognac and he's now back at the rear end of the field. As they'd settled down though and the Great Southerner led them. Tango War by the 700 about a length and a half to the good of Saturia. How to Fly the written tycoon filly down near the rail third. Then Hail Caesar Bon Voyage down near the inside and last of all is Cognac. 450 left to travel. And Tango Aura leads the way for Johnston Porter coming around the home bend. Straightened up on the point of the corner. A length and a half. Saturia. How to fly for Kirby. Pushing up near the rail. And Bon Voyage around their heels is starting to wind up with 200 left to go. Tango Aura. How to fly. Got the inside run. Here's How to fly from Tango Aura down the outside. Saturia. Bon Voyage can't win. But How to fly. She sprouts wings late. How to fly. How to fly. Too good for Kirby. Beats home Tangawara. Satiria third. Fourth Bon Voyage. Cognac went back and stayed there and beat the Ruffy to the line. And that was Hail Caesar. Number three, the winner. How to fly. On the backup for the Durant Stable after its engagement in the Magic Millions Trophy. Brody Kirby, the former apprentice currently in WA. And he was able to quickly put this daughter of Written Tycoon straight there into the box seat behind Tango Wara, who had missed a little bit of time off the racetrack with a slight setback of late. And Saturia held its own. Bon Voyage got into the clear in time, but wasn't good enough. How to Fly had that real pinch hit run down on the fence, got through a 240 to beat Tango Aura, Clint Johnston Porter, Saturia Craig Staples in third placing. So a good result here after a very, very good run in the Magic Millions. And that followed a smart win over the 1,000 metres two starts ago. How to fly for Electra Bloodstock, managed by James Christie, R. Hawkins, and also K.W. Shepherd, C. Brown, B. Shepherd, J. Keeley, the Dennis Family Syndicate, J. Parsons, B. Clem, and Mrs. L. and A. Brady, along with Ms. S. Hellier, T.J. Chalwell, P. Anderson, D. Trevia, G. Markovic, R. Gardner, Mario Delina, A. Chegg Whitten. A written tycoon filly out of Flying Foray, a daughter, a daughter of Flying Spur, prepared by Adam Durant, handled by Brody Kirby. Second placing went the way of Tango Aura by Oratorio from the Dane Time Mayor, True Dewayne, for Roy Rogers, Nigel Ride, M. Kane, the Pet Jack Syndicate. Also M. Scott and R.J. Wild, trained by Roy Rogers, written by Clint Johnston Porter, and Saturia, the war chant, hot tamale filly, is trained by Paul Jordan for the Lima Syndicate and Partners and Craig Staples there aboard. Three quarters by three quarters. The margins, the time is 59.37. And the final 600 recorded by the winner, How to Fly, is 34.25. So a filly that hasn't done a lot of racing. That's only her fifth career start, her third win. She hasn't been beaten at the 1,000 metres in three attempts and hasn't been beaten in two goes over this journey at headquarters. So a smart performance, but she got the run of the race for Kirby. Gate one, took advantage of it, and uh, certainly got every opportunity there, hugging the fence all of the way, but a nice filly. Race two, the Argonaut Corporate Advisors and Stockbrokers plate 1,200 for the two-year-olds at 129, and the stable chases an early double with uh, a Cetro to be saddled up by the Durant team, a short price commodity in race number two. And uh, there are no changes. Wes Cameron is down in the yard. He's with the winning trainer, Adam Durant, after the victory of How to Fly, who's uh, backed up brilliantly on her run from last weekend, Wes. She certainly, ha she certainly has, Darren. And she certainly has, Darren, as we catch up with the state's leading trainer, Adam Durant. Brilliant victory. Yeah, it was a good effort, good little ride um, by young Kirby. He, uh, he sort of had a little plan and, and knew, uh, sort of watching the replays, he said Tango Aura gets out. So be a bit careful if Paul's uh, two are outside of it because they'll roll good. So I thought he might come to the outside, but he stuck to the, stuck to the inside and, yeah, he snuck through. It was, uh, it was very well done. The young boy's in form. He's been riding plenty of winners and you're not afraid to put him on? No, he's, uh, he's got that little touch. They run for him. I noticed him probably... 
oh, probably three or four months ago, I thought you just started riding, you know, 20 and $30 winners in the bush and consistently. And to me, that tells you that you're not just winning on the on the fast ones. And uh, it's usually a pretty good sign that when you get the good cattle under you, you'll, uh, you'll do the things right. He's, starting, he's got to polish up on a few things, but he's got a good little race brain and he seems uh, quite calm nature. She is a very good filly. She showed that last week. I thought it was a tremendous performance. She looked as though she was a spent commodity at the 200 metres mark at Pinjarra. Yeah, it was, it was a shame she was chasing that grey because he is as tough as nails. Any other horse that was three deep that had to do what that grey did, it probably drops off and gives her the sling into the race. Um, but it just, kept, it just kept putting it to the sword. Every time she went to chase it, it, it made her find more. And you know, credit to her, she kept chasing hard, but she wasn't good enough to, to get over him. And an unbelievable effort by the grey to win, win that race. So... I was a little bit concerned the seven days after a you know probably career best performance and a hard a hard run, but you know we, we do plenty of tests, we scope them all after their race, and she come back clean after that run, and it, it sort of gives us the confidence to go into the race and, and have a go because next week there might be 14 horses in it and she might not be sound, so it was the right decision this time. Were you easy on her during the week? Yeah, she did very little. She just had one little squirt along on Thursday and went and played down the beach for a few of the days. So she was nice and bright and happy in herself, but until the pressure goes right on you, you just don't know. How long does she remain in work this campaign? Uh, basically, as I said to the guys, you know, I think we race her until she shows us that she's had enough because we, with her issues she's got, that she's not guaranteed to come back in the same order as she's, she is at this stage. So we'll continue to race her until she shows me uh, otherwise. And great expectations with Acetro in the next? Yeah, got the fingers crossed. I, I, I'm not that usually this nervous about a horse, and I've, I can honestly say I've, I've struggled with my uh, sleeping the last couple of nights, so I want to get this over with, to be honest. I might be talking to you in 30 minutes. Good luck. Thank you. Adam Durant and How to Fly, brilliant winner of the Tab Touch Handicap. Brody Kirby, well done. Thanks, Les. Thank you very much. Barrier one, it always appeared as if uh, the filly was going to get a lovely run, and uh, she obliged. Yeah, she, she was very push button, um, just did what I asked. The barrier was a concern, I thought, um, with the pace around us. and um, They were pacey horses, but they can keep running. And uh, when the leader made a break and sort of gave me a bit of room, I, I seen it hanging off, so we, we had a run and she, she let down well. Everything just panned out perfect. Yeah, surprisingly, um, it all went to plan, so it's great. Your second winner on a city track. Uh, obviously, uh, your form on country tracks has been magnificent, and today's book of rides, exceptional. Oh, I can't believe it. Um, you know, I'm not used to all this sort of pressure, and now I'm riding for uh, the big trainers and big owners. It's, it's sort of my time to shine. I've, uh, you know, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it now, and I really want to keep focused, and I'm very grateful for my opportunities I've got now. Well, you've been riding multiple winners on uh, many country tracks. Today is your day to shine. You've got off to a wonderful start. Best of luck for the remainder of the day. Thanks, Wes. Appreciate it. Brody Kirby, brilliant ride aboard How to Fly, the favourite taking out the Tab Touch handicap.